Hello and uh, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be showing you two of my favourite brake barley rifles from Viroc, which is the HW80 and the HW95. So firstly, we're going to be getting a close look at the uh, HW80. This gun is suited for right-handed shooters, as it's got the cheek piece on the right-handed side. It comes with a two-stage trigger, which is a record trigger, one of the best on any spring-powered air rifle. Um, this comes with a aluminium blued trigger guard. The trigger is fully adjustable. The gun comes with an auto safety. It comes with that horrible warning sign on the trigger block. I really don't like it. Um, although it is really neatly engraved, I just don't see why they put it on. You know that fantastic blue in. It's virtually black. The blue in. It's such a superb job. It's German engineering at its best. This is the 22 caliber, which is a 5.5 millimeter. And I think this gun is shooting at about 700 feet per second, something like that, on the UK legal limit of 12 foot pounds. It comes with a silencer or moderator, whatever you like to call it. Um, the gun is virtually silent at 30 yards without the silencer. We can't hear the gun going off, but I suppose any animals around could. So that's one advantage of it being there, really. Um, it comes with a nice butt pad, which has sort of got like a ready reddish brownish finish to it. It's more brown than red but it's quite a nice colour actually and it's got that black line spacer to go along the stock. The only thing I don't like about this gun is the stock's fore end. It's bland and plain and I don't like it. Um, it is a beautiful gun. It's got a really nice stock but it's just too bland on that side. If you look at it from there it's quite boring. If you look at it from this angle you see it's got that lovely cheek piece and still, yet again, nothing up the fore end. Really, I think they should decorate the fore end a bit more, put a bit of checkering in it maybe. I really hope they actually bring out a laminated version of this gun. That would be fantastic. And I'd like it if they capped it like the 77, that would be another great feature because this gun is just unbelievably accurate for a brake barrel. There's no barrel droop with these guns, I can assure you of that. They're really well balanced. I'll show you there. They barely ever move. This is a weighty little rifle. I think I believe something like uh, weighs something around uh, seven, eight pounds, something like that. Um, if it's got a scope on it, it'll weigh a lot more. Obviously, if you're a skinny guy like me, this isn't the type of rifle you want to carry around the field. So if you do buy one of these and you're not very uh, strong, buy a strap because trust me. You're going to need it. My arm's already starting to ache by ear, actually. Um, it's heavy, but it's really good quality. This, game, this gun is uh, bomb-proof, really. It's, it'll last you for years and years if you look after it. You must always remember to oil the gun after every use, um, because the blue-in will fade, and then the gun will start to rust. The acids in the sweats in your fingers can cause that, too. So even if you've touched the gun, you want to start to oil it. How do you break the barrel? That's simple. Just give it one gentle cock like that. You've got to give it quite a quite a hard cock. Um, it's quite smooth. Um, you shouldn't really slam that shit like I had to then, but my arm's been weak from when it's been holding it. Um, this comes with a one-piece lever. Now I like a one-piece lever. I don't like two-piece levers because they weigh and rub together. And I've also been known to shave the stock. Um, that's why I prefer a one piece lever. So, uh, yeah, that's the 80. And now we're going to be moving on to the 95. This gun is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it comes with a gold two stage trigger, fully adjustable, and it is the record trigger yet again. Um, the aluminium blue to trigger guard, and the blue one on the rifle is fantastic. This version of the 95, which is the Luxus edition, comes with a tapered end um, and a nice walnut stock so it's uh, quite nice and light as well um, it's ambidextrous the stock for left and right handed shooters um, the gun is really light and uh, super well balanced the scope that's a Nico Sterling Mountmaster 3x9x40 um, it's illuminated which is quite good for night shooting on rats and stuff if the lighting isn't too good you can definitely see your crosshairs then when it's on the animal so it gives you that dead 
positive feedback of where you're going to hit the animal. Um, a lot of people get confused when holding these guns. They think um, because it's spring piston, they have to hold it like a bullet gun. That's completely wrong. You don't hold it like that. And you don't strangle the gun. You don't do that. That's a bad, bad thing. What you want to do is you want to sort of hold it like a baby and cradle it. And then you want to gently pull the trigger. You don't snatch the trigger like that and pretend you're on Call of Duty because you're just going to completely ruin the gun. Um, you're going to completely ruin your accuracy and you're going to make yourself look like an idiot. That's one of the main reasons why people think spring guns aren't accurate. But it's completely wrong. Um, that's the main reason why people think they're crap. It's because of the way they shoot them. It's not like some man once said, it's not the arrow, it's the Indian. And that is a true saying. So yeah, that's the Virac 95. With this beautiful checkering and this lovely stock. And like I said, if you're a skinny guy like me and you want something to carry around the field without any problems and you want a brake barrel, go for this. It's beautiful. It's, you know, it's, like I said, on the other one, it's got that black line spacer to go with the stock. Which is uh, really, really nice. I just wish the 80 came with the stock like this. Or maybe even this one with a laminated stock, a green one. Apparently they did make one years and years ago, but they never released it in our country, um, which is the UK. Quite a shame that I would have liked to have owned one. But yeah, thanks for watching my video. Comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what spring piston air rifles you own, or any pneumatics. Um, if you'd like any advice on one of these guns, or if there's something wrong with them, and you can describe what sort of problem it is, feel free to drop a comment and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible with a result of what it could be. Um, to get these guns serviced is quite cheap, a lot less than a pneumatic, but to be honest, when you own one of these, you got quality in your hands, so there shouldn't actually be any problems with them, unless you've been poaching around inside it and uh, touching things you shouldn't be touching. And that's the only way that's going to go wrong. So thanks for watching my video. Comment, rate and subscribe. Thanks guys.